Good morning everyone, happy Monday. It is a new week, you guys. We went to bed so early last night. I think Jack was up stairs by like eight. Mason and I watched a little bit more of the Sunday night football game, which was kind of boring. So we ended up going upstairs before the game even ended, but to get a full night's rest, sometimes you just need to do that. It was so worth it. Like I woke up this morning before my alarm went off. I just checked on Mason. He was up before his alarm went off. So <sighs> it's gonna be a good week, you guys. Although I have the news on. So my parents have been, well, they went on like a two week vacation. They did um, New Orleans, Savannah, Georgia, down to Florida. And that hurricane, you guys, is like heading towards Florida. So all of you guys in Florida were thinking about you. Um, their flight leaves today. So they're getting out of there just in time. But I think I told you guys my older sister just moved to Florida, so we've been talking with them back and forth. They're prepared, um, but like I'm just watching the news to see exactly where this hurricane is supposed to hit. So praying for my family, praying for you guys that everybody stays safe. It's going to be a long, crazy week. I'm not even for sure exactly when I need to watch the news this morning. We had a busy baseball weekend, so I'm not really caught up on the news when that hurricane is supposed to hit. So I watched the news this morning, drink my coffee, get Mason off to school. It's Monday, let's have a good week. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Terrible Tuesday is happening right now as we speak. Um, he's home from school, just picking up the vlog camera. Um, I have the weather channel on, checking on that hurricane. It looks like today's the last day. Tomorrow, I think it's gonna be crazy for Florida, but my parents are home safe, um, so I'm thankful for that. And my sister it looks like she's going to be okay because last second, I think yesterday, they said that the hurricane was kind of going a little bit east and taking a little bit of a right-hand turn, so it's gonna save my sister um, her first hurricane. But now she knows how to prep and be ready for that. Now that she lives in Florida, her husband's from there, so I'm sure it's not his first rodeo, but they were prepared, they were ready, but thankfully it looks like they'll probably just get a lot of rain and nothing from the, um, the impact of where the hurricane's going to go straight into Florida. So thankful for that, but Mason is home. So we're going into a baseball weekend and the schedule came out yesterday at one point and I'm like reading it. I'm like, Mason, am I reading this right? They had him scheduled for a game on Thursday, a game on Friday, and a game, two games on Saturday, if I can remember right. But it looks like they just, Mace, did you see they changed your schedule? I did, yeah. It looks like they just changed the schedule. So now instead of a game on Thursday, he has a doubleheader Friday and only one game on Saturday. So strange, but I'm also thankful for that because the game on Thursday was gonna be pretty late and they have school the next day, parents have work the next next day. By the time he got home in bed, it would have been like midnight because the tournament's over an hour drive away from here. So thankful that they changed all of that. Um, what else is going on? Oh, and it's also the end of the quarter for Mason. So let's talk to Mason while well, he's playing with the dog, so don't mind him. <laughs> hey. All your your paperwork in all your papers. Yep. You retaken tests anything that you can do to get your Your grades up Yeah, yeah, you're good I hope, so. I hope so too. We'll find out. All right get back to playing with your dog okay. um, So yeah at the end of the quarter. I can't believe it. How 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 is time going so fast? How is his junior year already a quarter over? That's nuts. All right, just a little update. Um, he does have practice tonight, so Jack and, did Dad vlog any of that last night? They went hitting last night. I don't know if Jack got any um, clips of that. But he has practice tonight, practice tomorrow night, and then I thought we were gonna have a game on Thursday, but it looks like maybe he'll have a day off on Thursday, which is kinda nice, and then a long weekend of another tournament. So, just a little update, but it's Tuesday. You glad brother's home? Oh, he smells so good since we gave him a bath over the weekend. Dead to brother? You miss him all day. <laughs> Hi. 
Hello everyone, it is Wednesday. Um, the hurricane is definitely hitting Florida right now. So I hope everybody's staying safe. I've been watching the news. It's crazy, that's the biggest storm ever. Pretty much all of Florida is getting at least some type of rain, wind, something. So thinking of all of you guys, hopefully you're safe. I just got back from Walmart. I don't know why I said Walmart, because I went to Sam's Club um, by myself. You guys, you guys know I normally go on the weekends with Jack because he is my muscle, because <laughs> going to Sam's Club is not fun. Although they, they do have the scan and go, so that helps a lot. Um, so you're not unloading it, loading it, you just kind of put it. But to unload everything and put it into my car, I was definitely missing Jack. But I also definitely put my Sam's Club um, trip a little bit later than I normally would go out shopping because I wanted to wait for this guy to come home from school so he can help me unload everything um, and bring it all in. So thank you, Mason. In fact, he was in the middle of his after school snack and he dropped his fork to help me. So I appreciate it. Thank you, kid. Nope. Oh, and by the way, it's National Sun's Day. So let's give him a little shout out. Did you see all my social media posts for you? Yes. Thank You're you. lucky. I'm just joking. I love you. You are my favorite kid. And I think that's what I put in my post. He is definitely my favorite kid. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, happy um, National Sons Day. So he's eating his little after school snack. Do you have homework? No. Did you get your assignment done? That's due? Okay. Like I said um, earlier in this vlog, all of his papers and assignments have to be done by this week um, because the quarter is ending. Anyhow, this is why I went. I needed toilet paper. We were like pretty much out of everything from Sam's Club. Jack was out of his smoothies that he drinks for breakfast. He was out of Powerade. Um, I got Mason. That's over there. I'll get to that. But I did get some, um, you guys, this crew neck. This lady was, she works there. She's like, run over there. Those are $2. Um, yeah, I got a, a, a large oversize with um, fall ball coming up. It's eventually going to be cold. I'm going to need, you know, something to keep me warm. So there you go. $2 for that. This was on sale. I was thinking for Thanksgiving, like this little soft sweater. I think it was like $9. I think this little cardigan, I can just kind of use it like, I'm gonna go with my outfit right now. Um, I think it was like $10. And these black pants, I think they were like $12. Everything was like on coupon. So yeah, I'm gonna get it. I think that was everything there. We were out of glass cleaner, we were out of milk, I was out of oil. Um, easy dinner either for tonight or tomorrow night. Jack was completely out of shakes. Mason was almost out of almond butter. He eats one of those every day at school. Um, and then I got jelly somewhere. Look at this. Doesn't this look fun for baseball games? Little charcuterie boards. Yes, please. So we'll be packing those this weekend for sure. We were low on Kleenex. There's Mason's Gatorades. Hawaiian rolls. Once again, we have a baseball tournament coming up. I can make sandwiches. You guys, you know, you know. I think we're going to do, what is it called? My meatloaf, my ground turkey meatloaf that the boys love. And I also picked these up for baseball games. Some easy protein. Why not? It looked good. Oh, and there's the jelly for his almond butter sandwiches. <laughs> so that is my little Sam's Club. Little, I did spend kind of a lot of money, but that's what I got today. And speaking of baseball, you guys, I'm to the point where I am not looking at our schedule anymore because I'm not even kidding you. I think it's changed. 40 times. At least four times. <laughs> Mason said 40 times. This is the craziest tournament. I don't know why they keep changing our times and our days. Um, my friend told, finally told me, she's like, just don't even look at it. Look at it like Thursday morning just to make sure that you don't have a Thursday night game because you don't want to be late um, to your game. But yeah, so as of right, I don't even remember what I told you guys the last update, but as of right now, we have a doubleheader Friday, doubleheader Saturday. And Friday, I'm going to have to pull Mason out of school early, I think a little bit, unless he has a test and he's just going to be late to baseball because like I said, quarter is ending school comes first so i need to talk to him about that but if they're not doing anything because the quarter is ending then it'll actually be nice to just pull them out and get to the game on time but yeah this tournament has been 
little interesting, let me say. So, all right, Mace, finish eating and put all the stuff away. He's like, I'll put it away in my belly. <laughs> this kid, you guys, eats and eats and eats. That's why I'm always going to the store. It's okay. It's National Sons Day. I think that's what sons do. They eat. They eat you out of your home because that's what Mason does. All right, I got to put all this away. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Yes, it is Thursday. And I am super excited because I'm about ready to head out to get my hair cut. I know it's been a long time. Any of you that have been keeping track, probably nobody. But my hair girl hurt her rotator cuff, so she was out of commission for a few weeks right when we were supposed to go get our hair cut. When I say we, my sister, we always go together, get our hair done, do like a girl's day, it's fun. Um, my hair is super long right now because like I said, I think it's been like, close to four months since I got a trim. So yeah, definitely overdue. I have it up in a, a clip right now because it's disgustingly greasy. She's gonna wash it, so no no need for me to wash it this morning. But I'm excited to finally get my hair cut. Um, and speaking of haircuts, Mason is definitely overdue for a haircut. In fact, he wanted me to pull him out because if you know, he's been going with me, tagging along. My her, hair girl's been cutting his hair. But he has school, obviously, and I was so tempted to pull him out to go get his hair cut today. I know that's terrible and sounds like a terrible mom thing to do, but the kid has straight A's, so I'm okay with it. But I have to pull him out tomorrow for his baseball tournament, so it was just kind of bad timing. So I, I don't know. We need to figure out when we can get Mason. He's just so busy all the time with practice and baseball and you guys know like it's <laughs> he's so overdue for a haircut um so yeah we need to figure that out but for now at least i get to go get my haircut and i'm excited about that all right all done with the hair it feels so good to get the dead ends off feeling fresh again and i think i got an appointment scheduled for mason as long as the time works out i'll ask him when he gets off of school so fingers crossed he will be getting a haircut very soon um i stopped in at aldi's because i said aldi's i think it's aldi aldi because there's not one near our house yet they're supposed to be building one we've talked about this um and where i get my hair done there's one right in the area and i even remember the last time we were here we had to get bags because there's no bags at aldi got my bags i just need to find a quarter but i'm gonna go in and hopefully find some fun stuff okay i am back home from aldi it is so fun shopping there probably because i don't ever get to really shop there and it's just different plus it's cheap so that's an added bonus because i just filled up the truck and you guys gas is back to five dollars a gallon here so it was a hundred bucks to fill up the truck <laughs> no it's terrible but um i got like I think everything here costs like $70, so Aldi, I appreciate that. The prices are still pretty low there. Got these for Mason. He likes these, little croissants. But I just kind of got like fun stuff. Um, this was my, you know, we got tons of baseball tournaments coming up, so stuff like this is fun to munch watching Mason play baseball. Um, banana chips, those are yum. Um, these are amazing. We've got them every time we've gone to Aldi. Absolutely love those. Perfect to put in the bag for baseball. Best strawberries ever. These were some soups that were super cheap. I was thinking like grilled cheese and tomato soup. That sounds good. Some random real bacon bits. <laughs> I got some more of these because Mason already crashed through his, so he'll be happy. Got you some more, bud. Some low carb tortillas. I think this brand's gonna be good too, so I'm excited for that. What else did I get? I don't know, just some random stuff to throw in the baseball bag for baseball tournaments. Lunches for Mason, that kind of stuff. Oops, sorry. This was my cold bag. This, this was the best deal. I think I got $11 off of this chuck roast. Super great deal, so I'm gonna have to come up with a fun recipe crock pot, something for that. Look at these, you guys. Oh, the boys are gonna be so excited. Don't those look amazing? What else did I get? Oh, of course, my sweet tooth. Yum. And then there should be a caramel one. There's a caramel one, maybe for dessert tonight. 
And then I picked up some more of these little snack things. I love these things like when you're kind of hungry. I don't feel too terrible eating these as a snack during the day. And um, some turkey for making sandwiches for this weekend for the baseball tournament. So there you go, there's my Aldi haul. My hair is so curly. Um, yeah, I like Aldi. I hope that they are still building one. I'm pretty sure they are, because that would be nice to have another option to grocery shop in my area. Well, I think I timed that just perfect. Literally just pulled dinner out of the oven, just plated it up. I don't think so, sir. You leave it. <laughs> Does it smell good? And the boys are, sh I just got a notification that they arrived home. There's the garage, yep. Um, they went out and hit, so they literally just got home and dinner is served waiting for them, so win-win. All right, you guys, dinner was good. That's what's left over, I need to put it in the refrigerator. But I've been talking about it all week long. It is a baseball weekend and you guys know that Mason has a double header tomorrow. He has to get pulled out of school a little early. So on that note, we have to end the vlog a little early because we gotta go watch baseball tomorrow night. So don't forget to like this video, comment something in the comment section, subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.